Hi guys and welcome back to another week of violin practice at the Bill and String Slaughterhouse. Um, so I wanted to give you a quick update on why my audio probably still sounds quite horrible. I know you can see I've got this little lapel mic here, but you know, truth be told, it's a three dollars or three dollar one off of Amazon that is an utter piece of crap um, that I'm hoping to replace. Uh, I've got a great new audio setup, but I made one fatal flaw when I bought all of my equipment, and that was that I didn't plan properly. So uh, I found myself running out of budget before I got all the gear I really need. Um, so I'm still saving up a little bit to get a good uh, condenser lapel that will work with that so that I can have much better audio quality for these videos. Um, that said, I am still going to do a uh, overview of what I'm trying to accomplish with my audio setup and why I chose the gear that I chose. Uh, that should be coming in another week or so. Um, I'm starting to learn how much longer it takes to actually produce a YouTube video that you've put thought and effort into rather than just recording something on the fly. Um, there's more research you have to do. It takes a while to write a script and to uh, think through how you're going to shoot each scene of it as you're writing the script, which is something I never thought of myself doing. And anytime you do something new, it takes a long time the first time, right? So anyway, that's coming. Um, but yeah, on to this week's practice. All right, so for this week in practice, I've been focusing on vibrato. Um, this is something that uh, I have been telling myself I'm not ready for for a while now, but uh, after watching uh, the online piano and violin tutors videos about vibrato, I realized it's a separate skill that is something that you just have to learn the same way you have to learn to bow or the same way you have to learn intonation. And you can put off trying to learn it longer uh, because you tell yourself you're not ready, but the reality is the more you put it off, the longer it's going to take until you actually acquire the skill. So with that, I said, you know what? Screw it. Here it goes. I'm going to try it. And I've been trying for the last two or three days. Um, and it's horrible. Uh, so, you know, Allison has some great tips on how to do vibrato. Um, I've been starting with just my second finger. It's generally the one that it seems like is the easiest to pick up, you know, from some other stuff that I've read. So, um, and I've been focusing on simple, long bow strokes uh, so that I can not entirely ignore my right hand, but not think much about my right hand while I'm focusing on what my left hand is doing and the, the mechanics of making that vibrato sound. So, um, some things I learned is that you're not just simply putting pressure on the string and, you know, quick press release, press release. That's not vibrato. That's uh, really nothing. It's, uh, you know, a proper vibrato is rolling the finger on the string um, and so I've been working on that and uh, it, it's coming very slowly you know as, as uh, many of the sources that I've read say it takes a long time to pick this skill up sometimes months um, so you know you gotta start somewhere you gotta start it sometime the sooner you start the sooner you get the skill so this is kind of what it's sounding like right now you know, if I can do it here almost sounds like a siren, you know, it's that wow, wow, wow sound, um, which is, it's good in that I'm, you know, I'm getting that pitch change that you're expecting during vibrato, but it's not that rapid, uh, you know, real quick vibrato that you hear that kind of makes a nice blended sound. It's this awful wailing, um, you know, it's, it's getting there in the sense that I can do it. I can do it at, at will, and I occasionally get that quick, you know, two or three, uh, I don't know, vibrates uh, in a row, but I can't sustain it. I can't do it at will. It just kind of happens every now and then. So uh, I'm working through it and I'm going to keep working on it. And unfortunately, you're going to keep listening to it. So if you tend to come back for these videos, but yeah, um, hopefully over the next month or two, I can put together a little montage of myself uh, doing vibrato every week as I practice every day and hopefully by the end of it I'm actually pretty decent at it. So the other thing that I've been doing uh, this week is learning to play Pirates of the Caribbean. So Allison had a, uh, over at the online piano and violin tutor, had uh, a video up showing how to play an easy version of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, he's a pirate which is kind of the main theme most people know from the movie. So um, 
I was amazed that you know she she made it really simple. She hit all the high points in terms of what a new violin player is likely to mess up as they're trying to play it, um, and that made it very easy for me to pick up in just a day or two. You know, obviously I can't string it together and you know well enough the different pieces of it to make a performance out of it just yet. But you know, if I took a week or two of really focusing on it and deciding how I was going to lay it out, working on transitions between the sections, I am pretty certain I probably could. Uh, I was amazed actually at how easy it was. So um, I'll just play a portion of the the first section of the uh, of the song, so you can kind of hear it. Here we go. So that kind of gives you an idea, um, you know, for spending probably two, three hours total on it, I'm actually pleased at how quickly I've been able to pick it up. Um, and obviously that was not the best I've played it. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll do a recording of it just to, you know, practice those skills as well. Since every skill from playing to recording to editing, you know, is all something that needs to be practiced if you want to get better at it. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this week, playing the violin. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, leave me your feedback and comments below. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Uh, I. I was I going to say?